So I'm going to talk a little bit about kayak gear. And actually, this could go for canoeing too, some of it. So right here, we have just a basic dry bag, some at the sea, lightweight, two liter bag. But one of the things we do is we take the little, the plastic S hooks, like carabiners, and we make tags and what they are, and then we put them on there. This also for all our camping gear too, just for a simple fact that as you break your camp out, you get all set up, next morning comes, you want to pack up, and if you have the bags that are marked, it's so much easier to get everything back in and back to where it was. All right, so this is what I call a bailout bag. Now, I don't have one because I have a sea vest where I have a lot more pockets in it where I can put all my gear. So for my wife, for Judy's bag, there's certain things in here that it's easy to grab this bag on your way out of the boat for whatever reason if you got stranded somewhere. There's certain things I think you should have with you at all times. So let's look at what we have in here. We have a nice compass. Because need to say to know where you're going is always a good thing. A survival blanket, a bivy style one. These are really nice, very compact. The sole stuff is seems to be I've used a little bit of it here and there, but I carry a lot of it, and it seems to be very well made. And I've seen a bunch of videos on these reviews that people use them like constantly not just for an emergency I don't want to break it all out because needs taking it back in here I'll be a pain in the butt and just a real quick snap and break light stick say you're hit the ground it's dark out you got you want to get a fire going to have a little bit of light to work in for a few hours is way better than this actually says 12 hours is no is trying better than doing it in the dark then I have one of the basic sole emergency kits. The unit has a whistle, uh, a mirror for signaling, a signal mirror, some fire, some tinder, a fire striker, a little fishing kit, some uh, duct tape. It also has a survival blanket inside of it. A cheap, but it will work, secondary compass, so that gives you a backup compass. And it all comes in this waterproof case which is really nice and these whistles are very loud that I can tell you and then a basic medical kit and this one here is very basic and what I like about this it's one of the adventure medical kits is it comes in this case but inside of it it's the reason it's so hard to get out is because I repack these with extra stuff. Is a waterproof case. And the basic one is very limited. I mean, it's meant to be a very small kit. I think it says one person for one to two days. But I go in and I juice it up a little bit. I want a small container. I'm trying to fit it all into a small bag. So I go in and I add a bunch more pills, uh, you know, like headache, nausea, diarrhea, a few more band-aids, a couple bigger wound band or gauze bandages, and just some general stuff. And I find like on Amazon that you can get the refills for these kits and add them to these and make them bulkier or you can buy like a box of the little pills that come in it and it depends on how much you're you think you need or what you're doing when we go out it's basically pretty much primitive I mean there's nobody around it's not like you're gonna make a phone call and an ambulance is gonna show up or it's not like if you're gonna cut your hand you're gonna walk to the store you better have your gear pretty well set or you're gonna be screwed okay so that's the bug out bag and then this is my day bag and that's just got my bug out bag is really my best so in my day bag I just carry a few things I actually this won't fit in my vest so I carry it there but I have a smaller one in I have one of these in my vest and there's a smaller one in there but this would be close enough 
I doubt where we go, it's not white water, and we're not offshore that far that we would ever be totally separated from our boat. This is just a little deck light in case I needed it. Boom, suction cup to the deck. Stick that on, turn it on. A lighter, can never have enough lighters. This is just a little head bug net. And what I like is it comes in this little case, so you can just stuff sack it in there. You never know. Florida's good for mosquitoes at times, especially come dusk. Some extra cord. Most importantly, a small roll of toilet paper. I like these. These work really good. You can, once you open it up and you pull it, this slot actually lets you feed through it so you can keep it clean. If your hands are wet, you're not soaking down the whole thing or getting it dirty. Nothing worse than dirty toilet paper. And I use fog lube on my guns, but I also use fog lube on my knives and on my hatchet because these are all carbon steel. So they'll rust. So, and we're in salt water. Sometimes we're in water almost all the time. This knife is by the water. So if I just take one of these claws out, I can wipe that down, clean it right up, and it'll put some waterproofing up, coating on it. Same on the hatchets. And I carry this with me too. 45 Colt and if I want to wipe it down if it usually it's in the dry bag until we're on land when we're on land because of the laws in Florida I can wear that open carry and my depending on where we at if it's people but mostly it's animals and it's wild boar down here that I worry the most about and the last of the standard small bags that we carry and this stuff is all set up so you can get to it at any time during the day. It's not like you have to pull the boat over and dig through it to get stuff out. This is all accessible. Is our bug bag. Like I said, Florida and mosquitoes. So this has a little bit of other stuff in it too. Flattened pair of glasses. But mostly stuff that we carry for bugs. These things work really good. The bug patch, you stick them on, they're like a nicotine patch. And the patch lasts for 36 hours. And really, they keep away from you. The only thing that makes this not work is if you get wet. If you're wet, this doesn't work. But as soon as you get dry, like within a half hour after being dry again, these become effective again. But it's just, you. I guess it sweats out of you more or less. And it's all natural. It's deep free. They work really good. These we like too. These are another natural bug insect repellent. They work good. They're wipes. I like the wipes better than the spray because you can control it more. Off woods. Off deep woods, towelettes. Once again, I like the towelettes, but this is 25% deep. Uh, if it's really, really bad, and I've seen it really, really bad, this is probably one of the few things that will work every single time. And then in here, we just have some towelettes, some just wipe up, you know, nothing's alcohol free hand sanitizers just to get clean. But this works good, too, because my daughter will go with us, and she's really effective when she gets mosquito bites. And most, some people are after bite, kids after bite, and just extra strength after bite. I couldn't tell you what's in it because I don't really, it works. That's all I know is put it on afterwards. It helps with the itching and so forth. And that was about it. If you have any questions, want to know anything else, uh, I do a bit of kayaking, and I'll start doing some videos here and there. I want to show my best. It's really nice. And sooner or later I'll break the boats out and try to get some footage of us actually on the water. We have a kayak symposium coming up in a few months. Maybe I'll get some footage from there. But if you have questions, please ask and subscribe if you're interested in anything. All right, thanks. Okay, so I broke that med kit open. Just take a quick look what's inside there. So inside that med kit, you have some gauze, a lighter, some disinfectant for a wound, some probiotic iodine, a syringe for irrigating wounds, some tape, 
the after bite in just like a wipe on this stuff's like crazy hard to find it only came in a few kits and that, that's like you can't really find it separately or I'd have more of it uh, some alcohol and antiseptic wipes just some basic band-aids uh, ibuprofen triple antibiotic ointment aspirin not aspirin some diarrhea, some stomach medicine, uh, just some moleskin, stereo strips or wound closure strips, and then just some pads. And I mean, it's just a very basic, something I can grab in an emergency. I mean, this does definitely does not cover everything. Just to give you an idea, this red bag over here is truly my med kit. It's very loaded and basically can deal with most anything that you're going to have in the woods except for like uh, cardiac arrest. There's no defibrillator in there, but I actually do have a suture kit in it. All right, just uh, wanted just to break it down a little bit more and give you an idea of what was in that med kit.